Russian troops began to retreat in the Donetsk region. Russian troops began to leave their positions in several sectors of the front in the Donetsk region. A source told it to Novoya Gazeta outlet in the grouping of Russian troops in Ukraine. According to the interlocutor of the publication, Russia withdraws troops from the northern edge near Avdivka. Now there are battles for Novoselovka, but the Ukrainian army so far rather indicates a presence and does not storm this settlement, he noted. At the same time, the southern ledge near the village of Vodian is still controlled by the military of the Russian Federation. They can start retreating in the next two days. In addition, Russian units abandoned their positions at Vuledar, a source said. There is now a grey zone 10 kilometers deep. The Russian armed forces are retreating to Volnovaka, he added. Russian troops are still holding the front in Marinka, but there are few personnel left there. In Bakhmut, the armed forces of Ukraine began taking back the quarters in the center previously taken by the Wagnerites, the source said. According to him, the Ukrainian military is moving slowly but successfully. Apparently, the Russian armed forces north and south of Bakhmut are preparing to withdraw, he concludes. Leaving positions means the end of the Russian offensive. Russian troops have exhausted their offensive potential and switched to defense. Alexander Musienko, head of the Center for Military Legal Research, told the publication. According to him, the activity of the Russian army in many sectors of the front has decreased. Although bloody confrontation continues in the areas of Bakhmut and Avdivka, the intensity of the fighting has noticeably decreased. Ukrainian troops in some areas are carefully pushing the enemy back and moving deeper into his positions, he said. Russia will probably begin to use artillery not for an offensive, but for deterring the armed forces of Ukraine. The Russian Federation still has a certain number of shells, he concludes.